Hey everybody, it is Tanya Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to my video. So in today's video, I'm going to be starting a brand new series and it's going to be called um, Death Pile Shopping Listing. So what it's going to be is I will take five pieces of jewelry from my death pile uh, every single day and have them here in this little jewelry box. <laughs> And I will list them with you guys. So what this is going to help me accomplish is to get down some of my death pile and also be active every single day listing stuff. And it's also a great time for you guys if you just want some background noise to listen to me list my stuff. And um, you could also be listing your five items whenever I do mine as well. So I challenge you guys too to list five items daily with me. Now initially uh, for these videos I'm going to be doing all of my listing on Etsy. So I'm going to be building up my Etsy shop. That's my goal this year. And I've been doing that uh, pretty much every day so far. And I've been having a lot of success over there. I've been making sales um, a lot more than I did last year. And so I can't wait to see the result of all this hard work that I'm going to be doing. So I would like to do this every single day for a month, but I know that's a really big goal for me. So we are going to start off with just doing it every day for a whole week and see how that goes and um, get y'all's feedback and see what you think about the video series. So um, let's see what's in my jewelry box. <laughs> okay, so five items, you guys. All right. So I think to keep things interesting and to keep you interested, I'm gonna show you one item at a time. Okay, so the first item that I'm gonna be listing today that I pulled from my death pile of jewelry is this really cute, like Chico's it's a Chico's charm bracelet and let's see it has a little toggle clasp here and it's got all these really different unique charms on it um, one says cheers fun 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 inspiration that one says chat um, there's the shopping love peace so just a really fun little bracelet here so let's see what kind of information we can find on it so I do have uh, my windows pulled up here, but I will be doing my listing uh, for Etsy on my phone. You guys, this has been a total game changer for, for me when it comes to Etsy because it used to take me forever to list on Etsy. Now, whenever I list on Etsy, it's just as fast as listing on Poshmark or Macari or anything. So I'm going to show you guys what I use. So there's two Etsy apps. One of them is for um, shopping and then one of them is for listing. So this orange one here, that I don't know if you can really see that too well, that orange one is the one I do when I want to look up stuff. And then when I'm actually selling, I use that white one right over there. So let's go ahead and open that up. And it's real easy. All I do is come here to my main page and I go down to, I click on active listings. And then you want to come up here and what you're going to want to do is hit the plus sign right over there. So that means we are going to add a listing. Okay, so uh, the next thing it's going to ask you is um, about the item, who made this item, and I'm going to I'm going to choose that last item right there, another company, which is this that that's almost uh, what I choose almost every single time. So another company, then they're going to ask what is it. I'm going to say it's a finished product, and they're, then they're going to ask when it was made to make sure it's um, okay to list on Etsy. It has to be vintage. So we are going to say that this one was made in the 1990s, and then they're going to ask me the category, what is it? And so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to choose, I don't know if you guys can see that, I'm going to choose jewelry right over there. And then I'm going to choose bracelets right down there. And it's going to ask me what kind of bracelet, is it a bangle, beaded bracelet, chain link, charm bracelet, charm bracelet, so I'm going to choose the... I wish you guys could see um, charm bracelets right there. So that's what I'm going to choose. All right now it brings up my listing and it wants me to add the photos. Now for purposes of this video, um, I did take these pictures last night and I already edited them, edited them. So all I have to do is upload them real fast. So um, that's also another really good tip, you guys. Go ahead and like take your pictures in the evening if you just have some leisurely time. Uh, that way I know that some of you guys work. If you're at work on your lunch break, or you get a little 10 minute break or something, uh, while you're having your coffee and sitting around, you can um, edit some pictures. And that way when you get home, they'll be ready to, to, um, to list and to get a listing up. 
So um, I'm going to add my photos. Now I will tell you that last night I tried to download that air show to where you can actually see my phone through the video. But for some reason, it's not downloading on my phone. I'm still trying to work and get that figured out. That way you guys can see exactly what I'm doing on my phone so you'll know how to do it too. Um, so like I said, it goes really fast. I never list on Etsy on my desktop anymore or my MacBook. I always use my iPhone now. Super, super fast. <laughs> okay, so we're going to click on... So all you have to do is click on Add Photo anywhere on the screen. Then you touch Add Photos. And then you're going to go down there. And you have the option to take a photo or you can choose from your library. So I'm going to choose from my library. And let's see here. So I'm going to pick up these bracelet pictures. I have three of them. Three. So I just went through my pictures and I put a check bomb. You can see that I selected them. So then you just click on Done. And then there are all your pictures uploaded. Okay, then you click Done there at the top over there. All right, then it's going to ask for our title. So we'll just put that in real quick. And I'm going to call the title. It's going to be Chico's Charm Bracelet. And then I'm just going to put some little keywords in there that are on the charms. So I'm just going to say, um, let's see, love, Peace. Love, peace, and shopping. What's better than that? <laughs> um, and then I might say like um, gold tone. Not gold gone. Gold tone. So you just put your title in. And what I like to do is I like to copy and uh, paste my title for the description box. So I just uh, double tap and then it's going to give me the option to select all. So I choose select all. So you can see it's highlighted there in orange. And then I'm going to choose copy. And then you click on done. Then you go down here. The next item is description. And so then I'm just going to double tap on the screen and I'm going to choose paste. And then it pasted all my information right there. Hello, sister. My kids are on spring break. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to want to measure the bracelet. So then I'll type, um, not now, sister, please. Uh, measures about, it's got a little toggle clasp on it. So I'm going to undo that and I'm going to actually measure the length of it. So it measures about eight inches. And length. And a ruler over there. And then I'm type very good condition. So I've typed all my information there into the description box and now I'm going to click on done. And then shipping is the next item and I have several profiles available but the one that I am going to choose is jewelry. So all of my jewelry, I always choose the same profile. It's always going to be 350. So I choose that. Then you're going to come down here and it says renewal options. I always click on automatic for renewals. And then it gives you the option to add up to 13 tags. And you can also add up to 13 materials used. And you can add a shop section. Now, for purposes of this video and to keep it fast, I'm going to skip the 13 tags. I'm going to skip the 13 materials, and I'm just going to add my shop selection. And I am going to put that, there are my shop selections, or sections, sections, not selections, and I'm going to choose bracelets. Okay, then all I have to do next is another price, and I'm going to list this for $49.99 because I didn't see any of them like mine available. And then you are going to click on save. And once you click on save, it's going to give you. Okay, guys, item number two in my jewelry box today are these super cute little seahorses. They look to be like maybe green stained glass. And the backs are signed 
Don Lynn. Now I have done a little bit of research to see what these might be worth. I haven't found any exactly like mine. So let's shrink this down. Come over here. Let's see. So I did do a search on Worth Point. Now I didn't find any exactly like mine, but I did find some. They seem to be, prices are just really all over the place. But uh, here's a pair that sold for $53 back in October of uh, 2018. So I have decided that I am going to list mine for $50. <laughs> so we will list these for $49.99. So I'm going to go back over here to my Etsy app. And <clears throat> so I'm going to click on listings. And I'll click on add. Just like we did before. Who made it? Another company. It's a finished product. I would say these are probably made in the 70s. And I'm going to choose jewelry and earrings. And let's see what our choices are for earrings. Um, chandelier earrings, clip-on earrings, cluster earrings, cuff and wrap earrings, drop, dangled and drop earrings. I don't know what I would call mine. What do you guys think? They, they're stud earrings, but when I, when I hear stud, I usually think of little bitty uh, small studs that fit right on your earlobe right there. So um, I think I'm just going to call these uh, dangle and drop, I guess. I mean, it's not like uh, the earring police are going to come get me if I put it in the wrong category, right? Okay, so I'm going to add my pictures that I took last night. And so let's go do those. Got three of them. Now, whenever you upload your pictures, if they're not necessarily in the order that you want, all you have to do is touch down on the screen and it'll begin shaking, and you can easily just slide them around into the position that you want. And that's what I just did. So then you click on done, and then you can see I have the two pair of earrings as the very first picture. Okay, so let's put our title in. These are Dawn, and it, they, the way they do the um, signature on the jewelry, it is uh, Dawn Dash Lynn. I guess that would be a maker's maker's mark. Um, so Dawn Lynn, green, stained glass, seahorse. Seahorse, one word or two. I think that's one word. Seahorse, let's check. Now I have to check. Um, let's go over here to Google. And there was some I found like mine. I'd gone over and looked at it, but I couldn't uh, find any kind of a price. But they're similar to mine. They say blue enameled. Maybe I should put enameled in there. Okay, so let's go back up here to the top. And... We are going to type in seahorse. So I think it's one word. Why are they so cute? So yeah, seahorse, one word. Okay, seahorse, and then I might say pierced earrings. So my title reads Don Lynn Greened Stained Glass. I'm going to throw the word. They look like enamel. I guess they could be enamel. Say enamel too. Enamel earrings. So I'm going to copy that. Select all. Copy. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. And then I'm going to come down here to description. I'm going to paste my title there. And what I like to type is each earring measures about and then I'm going to measure it real quick. Okay, so for length, we are going to say it measures about, hmm, let's say, one and one fourth an inch in length. So I'm going to write that down about one inch in length. 
and then I'm going to say very good condition. I know that I am pretty basic and simple with my description. A lot of people on Etsy uh, really do take the time to uh, give you a nice little story behind each item. And I guess, you know, maybe someday when I have more time, I might list like that. But for the time being, I just um, don't have time for that. So we just keep it straight and basic to the point here. Uh, so click done. Shipping's 350. Renewal option is going to be automatic. We're going to add a shop section. It's going to be earrings. Uh, let's see, did we do shipping? Yes. Okay, so my price for these are going to be $49.99. Okay, boom. Listing number two. Done. So I hope this isn't boring for you guys. I hope that you will use this time to also get your listings up too. Um, so yeah, let me know if you're going to take my challenge and try listing five items every single day. Now with these five items, what I will probably do eventually uh, is list them on other platforms. But when I initially put something up on one platform, I'm thinking it's really going to sell over there. That's why I list it on that one platform in particular, because sometimes when I start off list listing stuff, I might put it on Poshmark first or eBay. So, but what's going to happen with these is I'll probably let them run for about a week or two. And then if I don't get any bites on them, then I'll go back and I'll start posting all of these on eBay as well, cross posting. So, but I, and I used to do it to where I would just like post cross post everything at once, but then I would have stuff that would start selling and it was just a pain in the booty to go back and bring it, take it all down. And not only that, but like on Etsy and um, eBay, I was paying the insertion fees to get it listed. And I was just wasting that money because it would sell somewhere else really quick. So that's why I just kind of wait a little bit, give me, give myself a little bit of a, a uh, little bit of a time frame there for it to sell. Okay, so we're going to add a third item. So I'm going to click on the add button, and let's see what we're going to pull out next. Now, this jewelry box has no uh, special meaning for me. I actually picked it up. I think I paid $5.95 for it at the thrift shop. And it actually does make noise. 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 Tiny. It plays music. <laughs> Not noise. Uh, and then the little winder here, it says Toyo. So let's see what it plays. I'll recognize the tune. Let me know if you know what tune it is. Okay, so this is what I pulled out. This is a bangle bracelet. And it looks like it's signed, but it really just says stainless steel right there, right back there where this, this finger is back there. So there is no brand on it, but I thought it was really unique uh, with the Roman numerals. And the way that it opens is it... It just kind of slides, right? so you slide and you pull, and then it opens that way. So I have done zero research on this one. So let's see if we can get an idea of what it might be worth. So I don't know what this is gonna be like. I don't know, we'll just look up. Let's go to um, Worth Point, and we will type in, is this Worth Point? Yes, okay. We will type in a uh, Roman numeral angle, see if it returns anything. Okay, so it looks like I am seeing some kind of things. Um, Wait, why is it not giving me the prices? Okay, here we go. Okay, so let's see what they call this. 
what kind of, oh goodness, I'm getting a spin ball of death. Let's see what kind of bracelet they call this. Here's a Tiffany and Company one. Looks like it's got a bunch of numbers. I'm not really seeing Tiffany. Y'all, I don't think mine's Tiffany for sure. This one looks like mine, kind of. Vintage engraved, oval, bangle, Roman. Let's look at that. $684, what? That's gotta be precious metal for sure. Oh yeah, 14 karat gold. Um, so yeah, well I know, duh, why don't we type in stainless steel? <laughs> Let's see. This is just the process that I go through, you guys. Whenever I'm listing to research, I have I have issues. I, my problem is I do too much research before I list an item. It really slows me down sometimes. But I really want to get uh, exactly what my item's worth. I don't want to get cheated. Plus, I don't want to over, you know, ask for too much and then it, the item be sitting there forever and a day. So, uh, wait. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we're not really seeing too much available here on Worth Point. Why don't we look at Etsy? See if they have anything. Roman mineral, stainless steel. Okay, well, there's a gold, looks like maybe a gold tone one for $18. Oh, there's one just like mine for $18. Okay, so let's look at that one. <clears throat> okay, Roman numeral stainless steel bangle, silver plated custom. Yeah, it opens like mine too. I'm thinking, I wonder if like this isn't like a designer inspired bangle because it seems like Tiffany and Company makes a lot of these type of bangles. Okay, so either way, let's get ours listed. Um, so here we are at a new listing. So another person made it, it's a finished product. Um, when was it made? We'll say before 2000. Jewelry, bracelets, bangles. Now we're gonna add our pictures. And I have three of them again. Three seems to be my number, you guys. Let's see. Okay, so I've added my pictures right there. Okay, so for our title, we are going to say Roman, Roman numeral. Stainless, steel, bangle. Bracelet. I wish you guys could see what I was typing. I need to try and get this fixed before tomorrow. Figure out how to do this uh, screen sharing on my phone so that you guys can see it too. I'm wondering if something hasn't happened with AirShow because, like, it will it put it on my iPhone, but it's just sitting there like it says it's loading, but it's not loading. It's not downloading or anything. So I have no idea what in the world's going on. So I'm gonna select all, copy. So I put my title in, and now I'm going to click on Description, and I just double tap anywhere, and I'm going to click uh, Paste. Come on. And then it pasted my information right there. And then what I like to say is measures about. And so what I will do with the bangle is I will measure the opening. And I'm going to say that the opening measures about two, measures about 2.5 inches. And, um, and also slides open. Okay, and very good condition.
Not very hood condition, very good condition. Done. Shipping, 350. Renewal options, always automatic. Add a shop section. And that's going to be bracelets. And what are we going to charge? Let's charge $19.99. Sounds good to me. Okay. Publish, publish. Boom. Listing number three. Done. <laughs> okay. Usually this goes a lot faster for me, but I guess because I'm taking the time and I'm showing you guys everything that I'm doing, um, it's taking me a little bit longer. But I don't care. At least I'm getting it done. Okay. So let's look for item number four. And that is going to be this super cute little frog, little frog roach. Now he is magnetic. He does definitely uh, stick to a magnet. And so I know he's not gold. He's not signed anywhere either. There's no markings on him. But when I saw him at the store, I just thought that he was so unique. He's got one little leg down here. He's got one little leg up here. You can see on the back side a little bit better like that. And then his little eyes are kind of articulated to kind of like move a little bit. But again, I'm not sure about this stone inside of here. So it does definitely feel cold. <laughs> they say real gemstones will feel cold to the touch. So let's see if we can find anything possibly like him and what we might even call him. Okay. Okay, so we were trying to find some comps in this little bitty frog right here. So I've gone to Worth Point. And I was trying to find one just like it. I haven't found one like mine, but I did find some really neat ones. Um, here's a Hattie Carnegie one that sold for $195. And look at this one. This uh, darling vintage crown trafari gold tone frog sold for $185. Oh my goodness. So some of these frogs, you guys, if they're signed, they can be worth a lot of money. And even your everyday brands like this Trafari, uh, Alfred Philippe, I'm not sure how you say that error, a jelly belly frog, $375. Crazy pants. <laughs> Crazy good for you if you have one like it, though. Um, so yeah, so about the stone, so I like to... I like to go on Pinterest uh, and try and identify gemstones sometimes if I'm not sure what it is. If I go to Pinterest, I can see a bunch of different pictures. Um, so here is a green stone ID chart. And again, here is mine. So what do you guys think? What kind of stone do you think it might be one of the ones listed over here? I'm thinking it might look like verdite, but I'm not sure. So um, just to be on the safe, safe side, whenever I list mine, I'm probably just going to say, uh, green stone, but if you guys know let me know and I'll go back and change it So let's see I pulled up eBay uh, Again my keywords I put in were green stone frog brooch gold tone um, Let's see I'm trying to go down Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna ask uh, 1999 for this one because I can't really find one like it. Here it looks to be maybe a pre-owned one uh, with similar characteristics to mine, I think. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. So we are going to list it. Let's see. Apparently there is a winter storm warning. Winter storm, Omer to spread snow across the west before turning into a plains blizzard. Oh my goodness. Uh, we don't have that problem down here in Texas. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to add, going to add an item. Who made it? Another company. It's a finished project. Product, and we'll say it was before 2000. Um, it's jewelry, and it is a. See if I can touch it. Brooch, brooches. Okay, and then we're going to come over here and we are going to enter our pictures, add photos. And it's going to bring up all my pictures. It should. Oh, we have to choose from the library. 
James from the library. Okay, so let's go grab our pictures. We've got four pictures of this little frog. And sometimes I like to zoom, have a zoomed in picture of my item as opposed to one that shows the whole item and farther back because I feel like that just might get people's attention more. So here are my four pictures that I've added. That big one right here being my first one. So I'm going to click done. We're going to add a title and it is going to be a gold tone frog. Brooch. Sometimes I like to put the word pin in too, P I N. Uh, and then we're going to put green stone. Why don't we say green stone belly? That might be a good keyword, belly. Um, okay, so we'll click done. Oh, I forgot to copy and paste that. Select all, copy. And you know, if you guys want, maybe tomorrow when I do this video, we might just have to do it on the MacBook here so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I don't really like to list it that way, but for five items, it won't be so bad and um, we'll make it fast somehow or another. I'll figure it out. Let me, let, let me know what you guys think. So our description, we're going to take it from our title. We're going to paste that and we're going to do the measurements. So we're going to say measures about, measure him real quick. So he measures about two and a quarter length. And if you guys want to go follow me on Etsy, my um, shop name is Couture Adore, just like it is on eBay. And I would make it Thrifty Treasures, but um, I, yeah, I can't go back and change, change it. I mean, I could change it, but Thrifty Treasures is already taken. <laughs> so I didn't really think about that. I never really thought I'd have a YouTube channel uh, back in 2000 when I started all this. So and then I'm going to say it's in very good condition. Done. For our shipping, it's going to be $350 default. Renewal options, automatic. Shop section is going to be brooches slash pins. And our price is going to be $19.99. Okay, now we're going to publish it. Okay, done. So now we have our fourth item published. One more item, you guys. Um, let's see. I picked out, I've had this, oh, there's my magnet, I was looking for it. I picked out this set right here. This is actually, it's a necklace, a pair of earrings, and a bracelet. And the reason I think it's vintage, oh no, a heart came off of somewhere. I got a loose heart. Anyway, this is what the hearts look like. Like that, like, like some red, I don't even think it's glass, I think it might be plastic. But this is what the bracelet looks like. So it's the stretchy kind, and they don't really make bracelets like this anymore with this kind of a band. So I definitely think it's vintage. Um, so that's the bracelet. And then we have the matching necklace. And we have a pair of earrings. So let's see if I can find anything remotely like this, and let's get it listed. Um, my initial thoughts are maybe $35 for the whole set of three. So let's see if we can find anything on it real quick. Um, I guess we'll look at, do I have an Etsy window open? Is this Etsy? Let's see, I think this is Etsy, yeah. Okay, so we are gonna type in uh, red heart. Let's type in stretchy bracelet and see what comes back just to get an idea of maybe some keywords that we could use if we find one similar. Oh my goodness, there's one just like mine. Look at that. Holy moly, they're asking $50 just for the bracelet. Um, 
So yeah, okay, so I guess this band dates back to the 1950s. Wow, that looks just like mine. Uh, so like I said, when I'm doing research, if I find someone that's listing something like mine, um, I usually heart it. So yeah, cute pictures. I love their little hand display. Very cute. So let's see what she says. A uh, vintage item for the 1950s, and she's calling it brass. Okay, well, I mean, it kind of looks like brass, but it also kind of looks like copper, too. Um, let's see. Well, you know, I'm just going to ask 50 for the whole set. How does that sound? Let's just do that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to come over here, and I'll click on Add. And finish product. And we're going to scroll down here. This is where you can choose uh, when it was made. And we're going to choose the 1950s. The category, they want to know what it is. Jewelry. And we're going to click actually on jewelry sets this time. Because we have a set of three items. Okay, and now we're going to add our pictures. I can't believe I found something so fast. Uh, you know, something similar. Let's see, so we have one, two, three pictures. So there are my pictures, but I'm going to make the picture that shows all three items my first one, just so they know they're going to get three items. Okay, and we are going to call this, the title is going to be Vintage. Uh, not vintage, vintage Tanya. Vintage, red, heart. And wouldn't it be nice, like I know on Macari, when you're typing in the title, for every single word, it will automatically capitalize the next word, the first letter. So, but um, like Etsy and eBay, they don't do that. You have to remember to do it yourself. So, vintage, red, heart, um, charm. Let's see. Because that's kind of a charm bracelet. A charm of hearts. <clears throat> We're going to say bracelet, earrings, necklace, and then we're going to, I'm going to put the word set in. So right after vintage, I'm going to go ahead and type in 1950s, because technically that's how you're supposed to use the word vintage. If you say vintage, really you should be putting in the year or the era after that is what I've, I've either heard somebody say that or read it somewhere. Um, I don't necessarily always do it, that's for sure, but yeah, so it would look like this. So then it says vintage, 1950s red heart charm bracelet earrings Bracelet, earrings, necklace set. So I'm going to copy this, select all, copy, come to my description and paste it. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to measure the necklace. I'm going to say necklace measures. And I always say about because I'm no expert at measuring. <laughs> I'm sure I get things off all the time. Um, now, when I measure my necklaces, I usually measure them clasped clasped so um, but with this one I think I will go ahead yeah I'm gonna measure it that way so I'll show you what I do so I'm gonna say that this measures measures about eight inches clasped so I've had people message me before and say uh, nobody can wear an eight inch necklace well that's clasped so you have to double it so if the let out if you let that out then it's probably about 16 inches in length so I say Okay, so I'm going to say necklace measures about 8 inches clasped, closed in other words, with a, now this is, this is what I like to call the let out here, so I call this the measurement for adjusting. So I'm going to measure this because you can adjust it to this, all the way up into this length right here. So we're going to say that is a, about a 3 inch adjustable let out length. Okay, um, then we're going to say, I'm going to say each earring, earring measures out, and I'm just going to measure the length real quick. So the length is going to be about one and three-fourths an inch. OK. 
Okay, now our bracelet. Uh, let's see, bracelet is stretchy. And then I might just measure it. Um, I'm going to say it measures two and a half inches across the center without being stretched. Okay, so um, I got all that done. Oh, we'll do our shipping. It's going to be three fifty. Okay, then we have our renewal options next. For renewal, we are going to choose automatic. Uh, the next thing is we can add a shop section. And for this one, I think I'm going to put it under, because I don't really have anything for sets. So I think I'm just going to put it under uh, bracelets, like I said. The jewelry police aren't going to come get me <laughs> if I put it on the wrong section. I guess I need to create a section for sets. That'd be a good idea. Uh, so we're going to ask $49.99. Seems to be the going number today. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to click Save. And it's like, are you sure you want to publish this? And we're going to publish it. It's saving my listing. And boom, there it is. Okay, guys, so that is five listings today for Etsy. Yay! <laughs> So um, that did take a little bit longer than I thought it would, but um, I'll do some thinking on this tonight. Hopefully I'll figure out a faster method to be sharing with you guys. Um, like I said, the purpose of this is for me to uh, get my death pile down uh, and build up my Etsy shop. And at the same time, also spend some time with you guys and for you guys to use this time as well to uh, get your listings up. And uh, feel free to let me know what you guys are listing. Like, whenever you grab your five items from your death pile, or is it going to be jewelry? And if it is jewelry, are you listing, like, all necklaces, all bracelets? Um, maybe you're listing shoes. Uh, maybe you're listing just a hodgepodge of everything, just trying to build up all your categories, just get one item from every category every day. So, but I think with this uh, little challenge, if we do it daily for a while, we'll really get a lot of listings up. We'll start getting some sales because, you know, it's so true about what they say. You really have to be listing to be making those sales. So um, let me know what you guys thought, think about this series. And um, I'll check out the comments and we'll try and improve on what I can do better. And we will see you guys tomorrow with another new five from the death pile. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a good evening.